you came in my life I have so much to look forward to mm. Forward to yeah, Praise God, amen Now I'm, I'm not very good at this I'm trying to follow a, a program a Protocol for the sake of time And I'm not very good at that So I'm going to read off this paper If that's okay with everybody Somebody say hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, amen The first thing uh, First thing I just wanted to share, amen, that uh, with my brother, that uh, uh, I think it's time. Uh, and I'll, I'll put it to you yesterday. Just, just yesterday when you and I talked, I was pretty sure, you know, because it's not about the qualifications and it's not about your talent and the ability. Not that you're not talented. You're talented. It's about the call. You can be untalented and God, if God calls you, you, you got to move. He doesn't call the qualify, he qualifies the call. And so, you know, I just I just wanted to share some things. Ever since that, you remember when we first met and you were trying to beat me in basketball, but you couldn't do it? You don't, you don't remember that. You remember? You remember. You, you, oh, you got you got to remember block. Okay, well, ever since that time. Well, we got met the, the way we met, we met on a basketball court and he found out that he was um, he was he was a worship leader and that he was a Christian. Most of all, finding a Christian in that place was just a blessing all by itself. I could have fell out in the spirit that there was another Christian in the place. But I, I praise God that from that time, you know, God is, God, I've seen God begin to move in him and he was moving then. And, uh, you know, you could have done a lot of other things and you could have made a lot of other choices because I know with the talent and the skill he had, the world would have loved to have your musical talent. I, I know they would have praised God, but you decided that you wanted to dedicate it to God. And the Bible tells us that when you do these good works, God finds favor and he blesses you to the next level. Yeah. Now, God could have did that then, but I think it's because of the faithfulness and the dedication that you put into following God's program. And, and here, here's the blessing to me. You could have went to any church. What he was was faithful. And what he was was dependable. And you know what? He showed up. Amen. Now I gotta say something for showing up. Come on. He showed up and has been here and been dependable since day one. Day one. People come and go and move and fluctuate. Praise God, but he's been there. Um, Sister Brian, you got anything you want to share before we move on? <laughs> well, praise God. Um, I just thank God for my brother. You know, I love him. Uh, him and I, we have, we, we're real brothers and sisters. You know why? Because we fought from the beginning. Amen. <laughs> but we loved each other. And, and I want to say um, also, as Pastor has said, he was very faithful. And, you know, you praise God for a faithful person because, you know, when you're in the house of God and you go through different things with your brothers and sisters, you know, we have brothers and sisters and we're going to fight and we're going to have differences. But those that hang in there, that says something about a person. Amen. It's easy to give up and walk out and say, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm going to do what I want to do. But to be obedient and to hang in there, that's a blessing, my brother. Amen. And, you know, I want to praise God for that, you know, for you, for that. And I appreciate you. And, and we just thank God for who you are. And we know uh, that God is going to bless you even further and make you an even greater man of God than what he has made you already. Amen. And he will prepare you for what he has. You and both my daughter, Lori. Amen. Amen. For what he has for you guys. And we just thank God for you uh, both. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Good morning, saints. Good morning. Good morning. Praise God. We're in the house of the Lord this morning on this honorary day. And um, I asked my better half to join me because one of the things I want to share with you all is we think alike because we want it. So when we speak on behalf of our brother, Minister James Johnson, soon to be Pastor Johnson, we are in agreement. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, brother, I have so many things I could say about you. You know that. I know I will be nice. I will be nice because I have a chance to say something kind about you and I want to take it. Amen? Amen. And I, I've known this brother before he even got blessed with his beloved wife. He did good, didn't he? Yeah. He did good. Amen? Amen. Say plenty of kind things about her as well, but today is your day. Amen. I have a scripture I'd like to read, and it's in 2 Thessalonians 1:11, and it says, Wherefore also we pray always for you. 
that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasures of his goodness and the work of the faith with power. Right. 12 says that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you yes. and ye in him. Hallelujah. According to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Yes. Amen. Yes. I am so honored to take this time to share my heart with you. You know me. I know you. Praise God. We've been through some things. But brother, one of the things that I'm so blessed about is because you've heard the call of the Lord. Just real quick. I know my brother, and I've met him on the court too. We've had some court times, and I know my brother is aggressive and competitive. So, you know, one of the things we talk about in the men's uh, ministry is that God will use everything for his good, the good of the kingdom. So I know that aggressive, competitive nature is going to be used for the best it possibly can. God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. Every diamond starts out as a lump of coal under pressure. We mined him and we had him when he was rough. He got better after he left us. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you. Because misery loves coming. <laughs> no, 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 really. I, I'm I am teasing, but I'm not teasing. I'm, you know, when you're called, the ministry is a joy. But you are dealing with the, with the problems of the world, the tragedies of the world, the heartache of the world. The, well, you're, you're going to see more of that side than you're going to see, you know, the really wonderful, I love you, Pastor, I'm really not leaving tomorrow side. <laughs> and, 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 and you can't take it personal. What I, what I heard is true. From the day I've known you, your heart's desire was just simply... To please God, run the race, and hear those words. Well done. Hallelujah. And you'll make it. I said you'll make it. You'll both make it. Hallelujah. Don't, don't ever let the devil get the two of you out of each other. But you just keep your eyes on Jesus. Spend your step. Don't let them over busy you. People that will want the most of your time will be the people who are least deserving of it. They'll actually be on assignment by Satan and not even know it. To weary you and wear you out. You're not a counselor. The Holy Spirit is the wonderful counselor. And when people come to ask me, I want, I want you, I need counseling, I need counseling, sister, I need counseling. You say, great, I'll see you in the next service. And right after the next service, I'll, see, I'll talk to you. And what you say after that is, I'll see you in the next service. Again, Sharon and I are, are so thrilled for you this day. We're honored to have you counted among our number. Hallelujah. And God will see you through and cause you, because you know your God, to do great exploits. I love you. I am going to, first of all, ask the Pastor Bob, will he come up here? Pastor Bob, will you come up? And secondly, I don't know how good your knees are, but I'm going to ask you to kneel, you and your wife to kneel right there. Could you do that? And I'm going to ask, Pastor Bob is going to pray in my, in my behalf. Pastor George is going to pray. Praise God. And uh, Bishop Hooks is going to pray. And Bishop Hooks, when you finish praying, would you just go ahead and take the podium? So could, could I get you to just kneel right there? I give you a pillow for me on my job. Pastors, could you lay hands on it? And the congregation, could you extend hands towards them? This is a glorious day, hallelujah, for my brother and 
and for me and for the whole congregation. Lord, we thank you for thank you. our brother in the Lord and in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, Father God. Father, I know that you have much to inspire him, many things to do, Lord God, but I pray that uh, he has to give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. And I congratulate you, James. Anointed. Anointed. To lead. To multiply. In Jesus. Father, there's no doubt that there are many things in life that can be intimidating. Several things that when you look at them face to face, it can appear to be overwhelming. But we overcome the enemy by the blood and the word of our testimony. Every experience, you'll always be faithful to them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. There's nothing about that. I just like. I just, I got to get used to that. I think that's, that's cool, Pastor Jones. It's better than Dr. Phil. We need pastors, sir. We need pastors. Pastors is not, is not uh, something that you just find. They, they, they have to be sent. They need a specific heart. Now, I'm not talking the sloppy agape. I'm just the kind of love where you just got a bunch of feelings. I, I just... I don't know, they just, every time I see them, they just do something for me. Something. Until they do something to you. And, and you get a whole different revelation. So I mean, just, and again, I'm, I mean in Cali, there's just a lot of... So for him to be ordained as a pastor, he's going to have to walk here sometime and say, I think I see church people. I mean, there, there's going to be some... We're going to deal with some stuff. Pastor Johnson is not the only one. And uh, that has a job. Sorry, it's not the only. They're, I mean, your pastor, they're not the only one. You have a job. Amen. Let me say it to you like this God made you to cultivate. Our description may be different, mm -hmm. but you have a job. First chapter, let's start reading the 24th verse. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creatures after their kind. Okay, let's see this. I want you to pay attention, please. God said, let the what? Earth bring forth living creatures after cattle, creeping things, beasts of the earth after. And it was so. 25 said, and God made the beasts of the earth after their kind, and the cattle after their kind, and everything that creeps on the ground after its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us. We're dealing with something today that is really amazing. It's very, very amazing. And I, it, it has a, it concerns me as a, as a pastor, as a father, as a husband. It concerns me as a grandfather and soon to be a great grandfather. If you can believe that. It concerns me. Sweeter as the days go by It gets sweeter, sweeter This closeness between you and I A love so marvelous No one could ever take your place Truth and life, it truly is amazing grace. Amazing grace. Now that you've given me the key to live eternally. Amazing grace. 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 Amazing grace